All right, so this is gonna be a little out of the ordinary for the channel. Normally we're painting and working on race cars and stuff, but uh, we have this 2003 Cadillac CTS here that uh, has a clunking noise whenever you go to shift it. So it's very clear if you get in your car and you do the shifter, it's either like metal against metal, uh, clinging, clunking, clanking, whatever you want to call it, is rattling. It sounds like this. Okay, that's what it sounds like. So I'm gonna show you what the issue is. So there's other videos on YouTube of how to buy parts and replace it, how to buy the new bushing or the new linkage and replace it, how to buy bushing kits and replace it. But how about for all of the guys that are just trying to get, you know, repair something for a decent little while and uh, not spend no money? So how about the budget guys, you know, where is the videos for them? They're not out there. So if you're on a budget, if you're down on your luck and uh, you wanna fix this and you don't have a lot of money, uh, we're gonna dive in this morning and uh, fix this up to get you a little bit more life left out of it. Now this car needs to go out of here like now. So we don't have time to order a bushing kit or a repair kit uh, as many of them are offered on the internet and many of them are made. If you literally just type in CTS uh, shifter noise, shifter clunk, shifter clanking, Whatever you want to call it, you're going to find results, okay? So hopefully you found this video. If you're on it, this is for, the, again, the budget guys. So first off, this is our shifter out of our car. Now, to get our shifter out of our car, there's tons of how-to videos, so I'm not going to show you how to do it. Pull your carpet back up here, and then you're going to have a 10-millimeter bolt. Pull your carpet back over there, 10-millimeter bolt. Slide your seats forward. There's little plastic claps, caps in the center of the, or the side of the console. Uh, they're going to have a 10 millimeter bolt behind each one of them. I'll show you where it's at real fast. Now, I didn't really unplug much. I literally just flipped this thing around. So these are the plugs you're looking for. You're just going to pull these out of the side of your center console. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 10 millimeter up there. So then you take your whole console out. So you need to pop the shifter uh, boot up. All that stuff just clips in. Uh, pop the other trim ring, all that stuff up stuff with the shifter just clips in i pulled the boot up uh here is your noise that you're probably familiar with okay what it is is the bushings are actually 100 percent gone out of this so this is a pretty terrible design there's a lot of terrible designs on this car uh, with cadillac that i'm learning and they are gone on each end so there's literally nothing stopping it so we're gonna uh use some of these random items uh we and see what we can come up with but our main thing that we're gonna use is some rubber hose so i'm gonna take these rubber hose cut some little uh pieces out of them and then show you how we to get our in. hose and we've cut off a little section and then we made a slit like that um i'm actually going that was my first attempt so i'm actually going to cut this down even a little less so I'm only cutting probably a quarter of an inch of hose off of it. Um, the size of this hose, somebody's probably gonna ask, I'm not sure. It says 3 8 ID, so 3 8 inner diameter is gonna be the hose, and it almost looks like fuel line or something. Uh, once we got this little tiny piece cut off like that, we're gonna take it, put a slit in it, and then we are going to push it into the bushing. So the whole trick here is that you want your hose to be you want your hose to be pretty much the diameter of the gap there that way it can actually slide in so the trick here is it's going to be to get it slide in i think and then get it dropped down and then fill in the outer uh, perimeter with something so as you can see i've got it cut so let's see if we can get this pushed in there So we have it pushed down in there and this is what you should end up with. So you have your rubber hose and then your bushings in there. So now this is not gonna be clanking around. Now all we got to do is fill the gap up top. So we're gonna cut a, another piece the same.
So that's one side done. You know, like I said, I cut the other little slit, put it around there, and it did not want to go all the way in there. But then I put a zip tie and choked it down with a zip tie, and that pulled it up in there. So now you have the void filled up. Everything will still turn like it's supposed to. It's a little more on the stiffer side because you are got rubber against metal. Um, we're going to spray this thing down with some lube and grease and cover this thing in grease uh, before we assemble everything to help everything um, turn. But I feel like that should last a decent, you know, to get you by a decent amount of time. So um, you just rope your zip tie. Oops. Rope your zip tie around it like that and tighten it down. And we're gonna move on to this side. We're gonna repaint and do the exact same thing to this side. Right, so we got this other side done. We have our rubber bushing put in there. We have our zip, our second rubber bushing, our rubber hose put on there. Our zip tie wrapped around it to keep the rubber hose like that act as a spacer. And then the zip tie head and the zip tie and everything also acts as a spacer to keep that off. And then I have ran a bunch of zip ties around this lower part just to help keep the uh, the other rubber hose that's in here that's cut in half so it doesn't because if this this piece right here can go that way a little and I don't want it to go that way too far and then you know that little hose pop out and go down so I just kind of wanted to build a little lip up right here so that to help that rubber hose if it ever does um, if this does move just just to help lock it in there so everything's in there now we have no noise so everything's nice and quiet. I have no clue how long this will last. Not sure if you're gonna get 10 miles, not sure if you're gonna get 100 miles, not sure if you're gonna get 1 million miles. <laughs> you probably ain't getting that out of the Cadillac. But uh, this will get you quiet for now. So in, in my opinion, I honestly don't see why you couldn't get a couple of years out of this uh, all day long. And maybe you're just trying to trade it in and you want to get you know a little bit more money than they would give you if it's clinking all up. Or like I said, maybe you are trying to sell it and you're just trying to go through the little get rid of some noise and stuff like that, whatever your case may be. Um, maybe this will help take care of you. So we're gonna get this thing back installed. All right, so we got this thing back together now and no noise i don't know if y'all can hear that on the camera but it is smooth as butter there's no clanking no rattling so i'm going to consider that a, uh, a temporary fix so if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe turn on notifications smash that bell button because we do all kinds of stuff like this we actually what we do for a living is we buy uh salvage title uh total loss cars from back from the insurance company and we actually repair them and so eddie just went to the junkyard's morning grabbed his hood he checked all the cadillacs out there and said there was absolutely none that did not have this issue and he said he checked seven of them he did get us a black hood so we're gonna throw a hood on this thing uh wipe down the interior and post this thing for sale so i'll catch y'all in the next video thanks y'all